Well, the end of the Biden administration fast approaching. Democrats on Capitol Hill, especially members of the Progressive Caucus, are pressing President Biden to pass a number of new executive orders. And they hope the new directives will protect undocumented migrants and prevent their mass deportation. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us with that story. Eric. Good evening, Tracy. Yes, Democrats tell me that they want President Biden to fast track citizenship applications, lift restrictions on asylum claims and expand work permits for undocumented immigrants. Republicans say that the American people just voted and they don't want that. We've elected a new president. We've elected to keep our Congress. We've elected to have a, a Republican majority in the Senate. So this president needs to wind it down listen to the American people, respect the voters, as, as I've heard some people say, and let the new administration set policy. Democrats trying to use executive power to work on things like immigration, things like that before no, President they, Trump takes over. And with great irony, uh, perhaps they should have thought about that uh, uh, before the election. Democrats say the president-elect's recent high-level cabinet appointments of anti-immigrant figures signals that he is very serious about the mass deportation plan he campaigned on, putting an estimated 11 million undocumented migrants at risk from day one. More than 30 percent of residents in California Congressman Brad Sherman's district were not born in the U.S. And you're deported to a country you haven't been to for 20 or 30 years. Whether you're treated politely or impolitely is an afterthought. Uh, the, it's, it's not a matter of politeness and dignity. Seven newly elected lawmakers joined the Progressive Caucus, which now numbers over 100 members. The Congressional Progressive Caucus will continue to be ferocious defenders of the working class and poor people, of inclusion and our right to fully be who we are. Immigration is sure to be a hot button issue for the next four years. And even the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops recently issued a statement of pastoral concern about immigrants. Quote, together we must speak out on behalf of the huddled masses yearning to breathe free and ask our government to provide fair and humane treatment for our beloved immigrant brothers and sisters. Democrats are also asking President Biden to strengthen union contracts for federal employees and also advise administrators al to allocate or spend money earmarked for Ukraine now so that it cannot be used somewhere else. Republicans say that all Democrats are trying to do is cater to their base. However, Democrats' efforts could be undone. That's because President-elect uh, Biden, uh, excuse me, Trump that is, will have the power to revoke any president executive order that Biden does. Plus, a Republican-controlled Congress can overturn these directives by passing legislation. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.